Oh, what's up everybody once again it's brand man shine and i'm back with another episode of inside the network where we share exclusive content from inside of brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself now this is another clip from my full interview that i did with jo right he's an artist really been working his way through the game and was doing a lot before he got on tiktok but he was able to blow up on tiktok relatively quickly but it had a lot of opportunity that it created outside of tiktok i cannot say enough Right, people get so caught up, and I don't want to get on this platform, not realizing all of the transferably transferability of how it would translate back to other platforms relatively quickly and easily in comparison to all them other efforts and things that you're probably working on and not really getting results. But anyway, enough from me. Check it out from Jo, and after that, I'll say a little some some. I think a lot of artists trouble, and why they don't take advantage of a lot of opportunities is honestly. Like I, I call it the school effect, right? That educated, that education system where you think I, if I click C and it's the right answer, then I yeah. get my immediate A. Here's your badge. Yeah. Right? You get an A. You get a B. It's mm -hmm. like no, you can't just say I do this one thing and then I yeah. get this result. You know, you yeah, gotta exactly. be able to give to the community. Per, mm -hmm. like, you know, and then once you get involved in the community it will come back. You just have to be ready when it comes exactly. back. Exactly. The community wants comedy from me, so I'm just being funny all of a sudden. Like, I was never posting any funny stuff until TikTok. Bro, never. No. <laughs> I know. I'm like... <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> and I, I, know I didn't I was, even know this side of you. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was funny. It's just like, I just never posted anything about it. So I guess TikTok got to share my personality, which is actually a huge point because um, mm. that video, that barber one was the first one that blew up and one of my barber friends who's like, it's like all in the barber community. He's like, man, everybody's talking about this video like they all know you and it's like i've known you Dang. for years he was actually the one that got me into singing and he was like man i've known you Dang. for years i was like i've i was on the like said like audition for this choir you know so um uh he asked like man i was wondering like how do i blow up my like my barber page and all that and this goes for anybody i'd say like and that's what i learned in like pr and watching your videos man you got to sell your personality stop selling the product like you can't just sell tapers and fades there's tapers and fades everywhere like if I really need a cut, I'm gonna go down the street and get a taper and fade. Yep. But if I buy into your personality, like, oh, this is PJ, this is his name, PJ Yates, this is PJ Yates cut, like I'm gonna go drive a mile away. Like, oh, this is by him, like, oh, he's that funny dude, or oh, he's that singing barber or whatever he is. Like yep. I'm a golden I'm a buy into people's personality. So people are like buying into my personality now. So they're like, Oh, I like this guy. This that's that's a that's my teacher. I'm gonna go check out his music. Like like, you know, like like that's I was my sub, so, <laughs> so yeah, literally, yeah. Personality, that's you gotta a, sell your personality. That's a huge point, man. As much as a lot of people don't like it, yeah. right there, that personality thing is real, or some sort of unique vibe, or like you might not have to do it through your physical, your personal personality. There's other ways yeah. to create. It could be a mysterious like personality. Like, it could be any personality. Yeah. So. Yeah. Whatever it is, but people have to have that attraction to it and the world is mm -hmm. it's changing right where things used to be so distant people want to feel a lot closer to everything yeah. and these pages right yeah. these entities that we have is really more of a physical representation yeah. well a digital representation of us right it's like an yeah. avatar right a real exactly. live walking exactly. walking avatar and they yeah. want to feel that versus mm -hmm. necessarily seeing this huge superstar they just want to see mm -hmm. they know you and this is how they mm -hmm. know you so and that's yeah, why man. i think celebrities aren't doing so well yet at least like all the yeah. celebrities that have opt on like their views are very like they're low i've had videos that are higher views than them and they have a lot of followers because people transfer easily because they know them but as far as the content that gets shared i don't think mm -hmm. they understand the shareability part yet or even like just the personal like most of the videos are just high schoolers being real like those are just like most of the videos that's it and like my most viral videos are just me being real too like other than that like the next one that went viral was um i guess i copied a trend i literally just did a trend a, tr a trend that everybody does but i did it right i guess because mm -hmm. it was like this mirror effect where you have half your face and like i did it to where i didn't move so it looks like i'm one person and then i just like ate my finger and then like uh did this and like did the little I think, but like a couple people have done similar things, but I like took everything that I thought was funny in it and I did it right and that blew up. Like I was front page of Reddit, literally a couple of days ago, front page of Reddit, like third or ninth uh, video, 
then I got uh, just shared. Actually, uh, this huge Instagram page just hit me up. They're probably about to share me in any second. Um, Nine gag. That's 51 million uh, followers. Oh, yeah, huge. yeah. They huge. they just DM'd me like, can we use this? I was like, oh, yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so interesting that these people actually ask. Yeah. You know, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not, yeah. yeah. There's only been one page that had like 2 million that didn't ask. And I was just like, comment. actually, Reddit didn't even ask. Um, someone, my uncle, my cousin had to tell me because he's on Reddit. And he was like, yeah, you're on the front page of Reddit. So then I commented, I, I got opened my account, my old dusty account. I opened it and was like, let me comment real quick. And I just put a comment like, hey, this is me. Um, I didn't get the credit for this, but my Instagram is at JL. And then everybody started liking it, like, oh, he should have got credit. It was like TikTok. Oh, yeah. Like, it was a community. <laughs> like, it's all they just. TikTok. Bro, that's, that's. Yeah. I think that, that analogy right there, yeah. it actually instantly changes the entire way I see TikTok because mm -hmm. I. I deeply already under I knew that TikTok is a community, but I deeply understand how Reddit works as a community yeah. and how they're serious about things. They will support the hell out of something, but yeah. they will also convict something. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. they, 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 you know, crucify yeah. something really, really quickly if it's mm -hmm. inauthentic, right? Yeah comes yeah. off fake or just trolling spamming and all those types exactly. of things exactly that right? and that's exactly what doesn't do well on uh mm -hmm. tiktok if it's not authentic if it's like you're just rapping 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 like no but if you're like oh i wanted to try something out like real quick like it's like and it doesn't mean like you actually genuinely have to be like 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 oh man uh i mean i've i've seen videos where people are, are acting but like if you're acting good enough where it seems like you're just like it's like timid shy guy that's just doing it like it, it can work but like yeah. it got to be authentic it got to be real like people buy into that so you can't you can't like be fake you know so interesting <laughs> all right again if you want to check out that entire interview you can check it out on brandmannetwork.com and i actually thought about the additional things that i wanted to say and then realized look if you haven't seen enough results from this particular interview right here that clip i don't know what else i can really add but I decided I'm going to go ahead and provide this full interview. So it'll be in the link in the description below, right? It was typically just inside of brandmannetwork.com. Been up there for a month or two, but now I was like, no, I'm going to go ahead and put it all the way out there. And if it doesn't convince y'all to at least try and consider TikTok seriously, then I don't know, you might be bugging. That just, that just might be the truth, right? And of course, if you need any advice and any other thoughts on how you can build campaigns and how you should approach it. We have TikTok campaign consultations available. There's multiple ways to really approach it, whether it's an influencer campaign or even just how you build up your own audience. A lot of knowledge. It's a completely different platform and philosophy for real. Algorithmically, it's completely different than these other platforms. I swear to you. So check out that in the link in the description below. I'll have a TikTok consultation design link somewhere under this video. Check that out. Other than that, though, it's also brandmannetwork.com slash TikTok. And last but not least, look, if you like this video, go ahead to like button. If you like it, you might as well share it with your friends, your family, and other compatriots. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.